Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ben, aka Notions. This video is about uh, an illness that I have. Well, I do have it when I'm on old school antipsychotics like flu uh, clopidzil, which I used to be on, and, uh, and an intramuscular injection for schizophrenia slash psychosis. So I suffer from I suffer from schizophrenia, paranoid schizophrenia, and I used to be on and I uh, buy a monthly injection every two weeks, clue this week, and it did have side effects such as the worst side effect it had was my eyes would roll back into my head and I would be looking up all the time and you couldn't even see the whites of my eyes because it'd be roll no, you, you could only see the whites of my eyes sorry that my eyeballs would be rolled back into the roof of my head and I'd be staring up at the ceiling all the time. This is called ocular, ocular gyric crisis. And it is, it's a bit to do, a bit like when you're gonna have a seizure, you do this, and you can have ocular gyric seizures. And I might have had loads of them before, <coughs> without even knowing it. This used to happen to me when I was walking around Ilfracoon like, so I have to find my, my way home without even being able to see where I'm going. This might sound a bit bad, but I, I used to put up of it and not go too, too mad, but it was difficult. Difficult to find my way back from Barnstable and get on the right bus without being able to see where I'm going. And it, it was really, really lucky that I didn't get killed by a car because I tried to run, I tried to walk from the hospital in North of Barnstable to, to Ilfracoon. I got halfway ish, about five miles I walk, and it's about 11 miles, I think. It might be 15 miles on that B road, and it's a fucking long way. I didn't think it was that far, but it takes half an hour in a car to drive it. Maybe 20 minutes from hospital to Ilfracoon. It takes 10 minutes to get through the fucking town. Anyway, <clears throat> I've had ocular gyro crisis happen to me many times. And I've been stuck inside town centres. I've been in, at the hospital in Barnstable by ambulance because I forgot my me I lost my methadone. And I went there to try and take my methadone and they just thought I was taking the piss and they told me to fuck off and stuff but, and the security guard he kept saying I'm going to phone the police I said go on and phone the police please mate phone the police I'm begging you and then he changed his tune just trying to use force to get rid of me so I was stood my ground I went on I kept going back to the premises every time he got me out of there I went back there so I needed I needed to wait, and then, then I went. I got. I went walked down into Barnstable Town Centre with this rolled back eyes in my head, and uh, the police. I stopped. I flagged down the police car, and I said, "Can you bring me back to Ilfracoon, please? Because I've got no way of getting there tonight unless I walk." And then they said no, but they thought I was actually. I actually belonged in the hospital, so they drove me up to North Devon District Hospital up in Barnstable, down in Barnstable, up in Barnstable for me, like. But uh, <clears throat> I was allowed to wait in the A and E, I think it's A and E waiting room until the next morning, and then I got a bus home to Ilfracoon. But I uh, I managed to get a free bus because they gave me a bus pass. They just wrote a ticket out on in the hospital, and it was like it was accepted by the driver. I was worried about it not being accepted by the driver on my walk down to the bus station. I thought it was going to be, oh, you, this, this, this bit of paper is valid for you to travel today, mate. Or something like that, but I managed to get back to Ilfracoon. And this awkward gyric crisis when my eyes roll back into my head has happened in the centre of Barnstable before as well. And this was a bloody nightmare. I was at the wrong end of the high street to get to the bus station. I needed to go home. And I was getting some money out of the bank to buy some white, I think. And <clears throat> I got stranded in the middle of Barnstable for about 10 minutes before I could even start to sit down on a bench. Luckily, I could feel where there was a bench. 
this right on my, because I knew the answer out the back of my hand really, but uh, I had to find a bench to sit on, so I had to sit down and wait for my eyes to recover. But it, it sometimes, sometimes takes about 45 minutes to 60 minutes, which is an hour obviously, for my eyes to get better so I'm not roll back into my, my skull. And it look, does look like I am gouging out on heroin or even gouging out on methadone if this is possible. Once when I took 100 mm methadone before, without being on any other opioid or opiate, I actually got well ch chilled out from the effects of this 100 mm methadone, which I took at my mate's house. A long time ago, I was bought for him for a tenner, which is the same rate, 100 mm for 10 pounds. And it did chill me out. And it made my eyes just like that, like that, like it's a close a bit, which is a normal effect of an opioid, but it's not opioids anyway. I didn't really think too much of it, but I was doing some heroin after that, and this didn't really chill me out anymore. But the crack made me a lot happier. The only drug I'll even do now is weed, and I only do weed when I can get it, but I can't get it at the moment. Because I can get it through the internet off about four people, but do I want it sent to this so this uh, supported accommodation house? I don't think so. If I get if I get found out, we did it. I'm out on on the, on the streets. I can't risk getting any drugs sent to this house because I'll be kicked out if they caught on onto it and find it in my room or anywhere. They don't actually check your mail, but they. They watch you open it, I would have to bring it upstairs somehow without them seeing and open it that way. But it's dodgy. I need to move back to Barnes I need to move to Barnstable, Biddeford, Torrington, somewhere like that. Bude is just too far away from all of my friends and that. I need to make some new friends but I don't really know where to start unless I go down the pub and get pissed up, but it costs far too much money now. I haven't got enough to, to keep drinking at pubs these days. I used to go to the pub a fair bit when the prices weren't so high, but now I don't go. The prices are just sky, skyrocketed. Anyway, with Oculus Gyrix Christ is a serious matter. If you take an old school generation like a psychotic, you could experience this awkward gyric crisis yourself. You could be left stranded, staring up into the, into space, and with no way to look forward. Literally, look with your eyes. Look forward. There'll be no way for you to do that. So you'll be stuck in the town centre, probably going out of your head. You'll be shouting some random shit out, probably wondering how to get home. You can't see anything, all you can see is black. Or occasionally you can see the sky, if you're lucky. And then you can guess your way to walk. And you have to make sure you know where all the pavements are. Like I I can memorise all the pavements in the room off my head. Now from all of my time having a direct crisis, I know where all the pavements are from my old house, well, supported house, to my mate's house up up town which is about a mile and a half walk so i know all the pavements from there off the top of my head i can even I can tell you it i can probably tell you it whilst you're walking it and say there's a pavement coming up now in two seconds <coughs> but this is this is not what i want to do so anyway i'm still living down in feud i've lost about three kilos because i don't eat that much anymore I'm, I've been smoking like a train, only roll-ups so but I'll probably smoke for about 40 or 50 roll-ups each day, so it's just nothing else to do, and it's time to smoke another roll-up now, so in, in the spirit I'll end this video, and say, like, type a message if you want to, if you want a re reply from me, I'll even make a video response if you've got a specific question you want to ask me and there's enough to talk about to make a video response with I will happily do that for you I've got nothing else to do with my time 
and if you want to like this video please give me a nice thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel hit the bell down there and the subscribe down there if you wish if you hit the bell you will get all of my notifications and it'll be all good so see you later on Cheers. bye